Okay, hello everybody. We are in Atlanta and uh, a bit unusually for me, we're looking at Lamborghinis and we have a special guest star today hey, and hey. it's Ed Bolian from VinWiki. So he's going to describe a little bit about his Lamborghinis for us and because uh, he'll do a lot better job than me talking about them. <laughs> Welcome. Thanks for the stories. This one, to be quite honest, is my favorite. It was ordered new by Ralph Thorin of Polo Clothing. He actually ordered two of them identically and didn't take delivery of either of them. So this one was sold through Lamborghini Manhattan. The other one went through St. Louis. It's now owned by a billionaire in Seattle. This one though, a guy just bought it and drove it like you or I would, like a car. Uh, when he would run into things, he would get a rattle can of spray paint and he would spray paint over it. So when I got it, there were spots all over where he had repaired it. It's got two accidents on its Carfax, our vehicle history reporting service here in the US. Uh, it had a gun safe in the floorboard, a biometric starter thing, uh, several different versions of an aftermarket stereo, uh, speakers everywhere. And so I've generally tried to put it back to stock. He wanted all of it to be matte black, very Batmobile style. And everything that should be glossed the way the car was done by the factory, he had painted with a spray paint can into matte black. On the rear, when he decided he didn't want the script to be chrome, he literally just sprayed across the whole thing. So when we pulled it off, there was about a quarter inch of paint as a margin around the Lamborghini strip. He had badly painted the taillights, had a really strange aftermarket, almost like an SV rear bumper, a ducktail spoiler. All that needed to come off. It didn't run well. He had the wrong tires on it. And so I've spent the last few months putting it back to reasonable stock. But these cars, there's only 10 of them in the United States wow. with a gated manual transmission. There's 22 coupes, 10 roasters, and then E-gear and manual on the SDs, there are only 44. And so this one is wonderful because I can sit up straight in it at six foot five and look over the windshield, drive it. I love the cars because they're just everything that a supercar should be. They're super cool, super comfortable, and they make the best noise in the world. No kidding. It's a really cool looking car as well. I've got to be honest, I really do. It looks great in matte black. Thank you. I think I'd probably prefer your Verde green one, which is, that's pretty amazing too. <laughs> so this is the one that I got for free. I you got love, it for free? Yes, I did. See, I bought the nicest one that existed before anybody knew that there weren't that many manual cars. Wow. So like I said, there's only 22 manual LP640 coupes in the US. Worldwide, far less than 100. And so I bought one and then told the world that. I made a list of all the VINs. That's really where we got the idea originally for the VINWiki app, and that caused them to double in value. And so I used the profit from the first one to buy the worst one. It was a car that was crashed by the 15-year-old son-in-law drunk of a Iranian terrorist drug dealer that was hiding in Canada as a car dealer so that he and this kid would stuff drugs in the frame rails of cars and sell them in Canadian auctions to US buyers to move the drugs across the border. And they were gonna be invested by know, the RCMP or whoever in Canada. And so they were taking another manual LP640 out on consignment. That was a gray car, Grigio Telesto, like the one in Batman the Dark Knight. And so I bought that car after it had been shipped to Lebanon and repaired from the accident. And so he spun it around on the highway at 15 years old, drunk, and then they abandoned the car, reported it stolen, and they couldn't sell it because it was in the US in 09. You couldn't sell exotic cars in the US in 09 very well because of the economy. And so they shipped it to Lebanon, fixed it there very, very poorly. And then I owned the car. And again, using the profit from the first one, I owned that one for free. Somebody ended up, once I fixed it up, having to have that. It's now in Oregon. And so I used the money from the appreciation of that car to buy this one. And then I painted it my favorite color, Verde Draco. It is absolutely beautiful. It is stunning. It really is a lovely car. I mean, honestly, you can't, like, till you stand up close to a Lamborghini, you never really understand how beautiful they look. I really like the styling of them. Batmobile is totally the right way to describe them, right? That's I it. mean, yeah. The car Batman drives. Yeah, I mean, they picked something really well, didn't they, for that? And I mean, then, of course, are... there's a third one. Yes. And it's over here. Forget the messy garage today, but the. Uh... This is the only LP670 SV that they painted this Rosso Andromeda color. And uh, unfortunately in 2016, somebody was driving it a little bit too quickly and something was in front of them, an earth embankment, and they crashed into it. So the whole front of it was off. The pictures of the car prior to the repairs are pretty unbelievable. But 
it was fixed very nicely. Fixed in Europe, in fact. It was crashed in New York. Fixed in Europe. I found it there, knowing that it was the only one ever in that color. Got a great deal on it. Brought it back in. And now, it drives great. It's a pretty wonderful car. You'll notice that its seat is there on the table. Uh, that's because if it's in there, my head doesn't fit. And so I just sit on the floor, lean on the firewall, and it's perfect. Well, it's like Hightower and Police Academy. That's it. That's it's it. a beautiful car. Red is a really good color, like color for exactly like, uh, exotic Italian cars anyway. But this looks well, fantastic. It, it's, it contrasts nicely with all the black and the carbon fiber. So I've quite enjoyed it. Yeah, it's a beautiful car. Well, thanks, Ed, for showing us around your garage. That's really fantastic. Thanks very much for that. And uh, hopefully we'll show you some other cars on the way, but they probably will be slightly less exotic. Sounds great. Thanks for coming. Thanks. See ya.